Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In the previous video, we have seen about the different ways of template syntax and all those things we have seen it. Now it's time for us to learn about the reactivity in the Vue.js. How the reactivity works in the Vue.js, we'll try to see it. Normally in the Vue.js or in the Composition API, so normally there are three two ways. So what I can say is there are two ways sorry not two ways three ways of data representation so there are three ways how we can bind the data in the template so let's try to see it one by one if you try to see here counter.view so this is our counter.view and here we have already seen about the ref so ref is one of the data binding used in this Vue.js composition api and this ref is used only for the single data which holds a single value like primitive data types like uh, number string value and all those things for example let's say that i want to show you that this is a title of this one if you try to see here so this is the oh, this hello world is coming all the time why because so we have added this one for the hover right in the template syntax we can change it to click so that it will not come all the time yeah now if i refresh it now when upon clicking on it will work yeah now if you try to see here this is our counter component and in this counter component this is the heading of this one or otherwise this is the title of this counter component let's say that in the counter component i want to store this one as a string data so i want to do the data binding for this one how we can do it so here i can use constant counter title is equal to ref of counter title i can use it like this now if i want to use this one so how can i use this one is like this i can use it simply counter title this is how we'll be using now if you see here so here i am able to see the counter title and this one is directly data binding to with this template thing so now here if you want to implement the two-way data binding so we know that vue.js has a two-way data binding if you want to implement the two-way data binding here how can you implement here let's say let's take an input box here I will take an input box and in this input box input type is equal to text and I can use a vifn model in order to get the two-way data binding and here I can use this one counter title now if you see here counter title and if I try to refresh this page so here we are not able to see this counter title why we are not able to see this okay vifn model now if you see here if i refresh this page and both of them are having the counter title now if i change it here automatically the value is also changed here so the ref represents with the single data and also it represents with the two-way data binding so this is one way of accessing the data in the template so the ref is used for the single value thing so it holds a single value so here zero means so this represents a count and if i make it as a 10 so you will be able to see the output here okay so this is one way of implementation counter title now i am able to see the output the second way of implementation here what is that one is reactive so the reactive is an another one which is used for an array of data or an object of data so if you are having an object and if you want to make it as a reactive with the template according to this one so we need to use the reactive so you can think this reactive is something like a data in the options api so it is similar to the of data in the options api so now let's try to see simplify this one using this reactive thing so for this one so let's say that i will be taking counter data is equal to i need to use the reactive for this one so it should be imported from the view and reactive this will take an object let's say we will be having a count zero and i will be having a title so counter title so i will be using this one instead of using the ref thing so i will remove these two ref things so we are having a reactive count and the title now if we want to use this title we need to use such a way that counter data dot title and if i want to use this counter so i need to use counter data dot count and here also we need to use counter data dot title that's it if if i try to see here the same thing output will be able to see counter title and if i try to update it the same thing i will be able to update it for example here counter title from reactive if i try to write it like this 
if you see the output yeah here from react if i try to update it we are able to see so here plus and minus are not working properly why because still we are using counter dot value plus plus and counter dot value minus minus we are trying to use it, this both the things so here if you want to update it we need to use counter data dot count and here there will be no dot value in the ref if you want to update the value you need to use the dot value and counter data dot count minus minus that's it if you try to see the output for this one I click here i'll be able to see the output so this time we have implemented using the reactive things so normally the people will be try to use the state and state dot like this so like a data or otherwise you can use a data and these are all the data so you can implement this one in this one so this is one way so this is the reactive so now we have seen about the reactive and also we have seen about the refs also so there is also a one another way of representing the data in the template that is nothing but normal variables so we can also use the normal variables in the template also but those are non-reactive data so these are just a non-reactive data so if you have if you are confirmed that it should not be reactive and this variable only for the the data should be only visible for that one if you want to check means it will not detect the changes means then it is better to use without reactive or ref why because because of the performance issue so the performance issue will be increased so for the variables if you don't use it as a reactive so which are not necessary which are not needed the reactive so you can declare these are variables as normal variables for example let's say that in this one in this scenario the title is a constant one so this title will be always a constant this will not be changed by all the time so for that reason what i can do is i can remove this one and here i can add something like constant counter title is equal to i can use counter title i can use it like this okay now if i try to take this counter title i can add it here directly okay and also vfn model also i can add it here directly it's not a problem i can use it in the template this is just a normal constant variable which we can use it directly in the template now if you try to see here if i refresh this page i'm able to see the counter title and the counter title in the text box but the scenario is here if i try to change the input text box the value counter title this value will not be changed why because these two and these two are different to each other so that is the main thing here so this is how we will be implementing the three ways the data so this is a normal variable which we will be implementing in the template and the variable wherever you are using it will not respond to the changes so if you try to change the value counter title or here also we try to change the value it will not respond to the changes and here if you try to see here the counter data and these reactive and all the things it will it will react to the changes it will take the changes and the template will be updated so this is also another thing which you need to understand so this is all overall about the three ways how we can use the data in the template so one is the ref which will be used for the single value data and reactive for the object or array of data and also it's a normal variable so this is all about the reactive refs hope you understood about this concept if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you